Well, all right, Mr. Lucas, let's get to one of the most controversial topics hitting the news streets today. I am disappointed on a number of reasons that, you know, we're going to get into. Now, we know that Jonathan Majors is in trial right now for the alleged abuse that he had with his ex-girlfriend Jabari in March of 2023. This has been the trending topic for the duration of this year. There has been so much back and forth. Sometimes he looks innocent. Sometimes he looks guilty. There's, you know, racism here and there and everywhere. The man has lost deals and this and that. And of course, I don't want to uh, repeat everything. That There's a hell of a lot. But November 29th is when the official trial date started. And there have been a number of people that have been covering um, this, having their, their ear to the ground. One of those is a Miss Danny Does Law and Policy. This is her Facebook page. She has actually been in the room. Um, this is her Twitter account as well. And so uh, a lot of people are getting information from her and not just her, but a number of people. And so um, I'm going to have a link to all that in the description box below. I will say this. I am a fan of Jonathan Majors. Uh, I want him to be innocent. I do. It, it broke my heart when this news came out. However, I have to say that I'm not coming to any conclusions. Uh, if it turns out that after the trial is over with and all of the evidence is presented and that we can universally honestly say that it was a fair and honest and just trial, if it comes out that John of the Majors is guilty, he's guilty. And I will admit it. And, you know, I'm not going to support him or anybody else that, you know, abuses women, which is alleged right now. But the main thing is, is that, you know, we can't come to any conclusions. Um, and when I said I was disappointed earlier is because a lot of people are coming to conclusions. It's just like, wait a minute, let's just, just hold your horses, just hold your horses. And so earlier in this broadcast, I said that I'm not going to dive into this um, topic that much tonight. And that's just because. Um, the person that I brought up, Danny does live or Danny does law. Uh, she will be going live tonight on Instagram in a few hours. And she says here with me on uh, IG live, this was yesterday, visit me on IG live tomorrow evening for the truth behind what really is going on in the courtroom. I will be recapping what happened this week during my time in the galley or the gallery, excuse me, as I, came to show unwavering support for Majors and his family, in addition to providing a non-media perspective of what's actually happened. No slants, no span, no lies. I have been witnessing far too much sensualization and not enough truth in context on this matter. So it's time to get out my comfort zone and on this platform. Now, even myself, you see my name right there. I, I reached out to her. I said, hey, thank you for the coverage. Do you know exactly what time you will be going live on IG? Much appreciated. She says, I'm going live tonight in a few hours. Uh, maybe she changed the comment because I could have sworn she said 9 p.m. Um, but I don't know exactly where the comment went. But, you know, I, I'm not in the courtroom. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't. So I'm not going to come to any conclusions here. You know, I got people in my personal life tagging me in posts like, Oh, your boy Jonathan is cooked. He's going to have to own it. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. So uh, because I, I, I really want to see what she's going to say on her live. And uh, after the Cowboy game, I'm going to check out what she has to say. But again, we don't I, I'm on the camp here. Like, look, we don't know. I hope he's innocent. But if he's guilty, you know, then he's going to have to um, face justice. But um, on a lighter note. It came out early in the week that uh, Jonathan Majors, you know, wanted his ex-girlfriend to act like Michelle Obama and Scott King. And when they hit the when they hit the the uh, social media, everybody's like, what the hell is going on? This is silly. You know, what, what I don't believe it. You know what, what's going on? So that's the first thing that we're going to be talking today. This is coming from. Um, well, actually, before I get that, how, how are you feeling about this so far? I, I have no idea how you feel on this. So if you if you want to give your two cents real quick, uh, feel free, sir. Feel I'll, free. I'll say this. Um, I, I've i been following the case. I know of some social media people that I do follow who are in the courtroom also. Okay. And they, they were there for some of the text messages played. That's 
part of what also broke later on this week mm -hmm. uh, about certain things with him and the incident in 2022 with her. Yeah, and we him saying that he wanted to he wanted her to act like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama, which is hilarious at its face because yeah. it being a white woman and you saying that, but if we think about it and take race out of it, don't we all kind of want women to act that way? I Good mean, point. in a sense that you know, those are those women have amazing characteristics that you would want other people to have. Mm -hmm. What I've always said about this trial, and this is the unfortunate element of it, him being guilty or innocent does not matter. What I paid way more attention to was at the beginning of this trial, there are other witness statements that the media petitioned the judge to release. His team said, if those statements get out there, we can't get a fair trial. The judge heard those statements and said, you're a thousand percent right. If those statements get out, he can't get a fair trial. So unless they become admissible during the trial, which would mean he would have to take the stand and say something like, I've never done anything of this nature before, then those things will become admissible. As long as he does not take the stand, none of that stuff will come out until the trial is over and all of that stuff becomes public record. That's when, to me, you'll get the picture of Jonathan Majors. You're not going to get it through in this trial. I hate to tell everybody that. This is a he says, she said. Granted, we, again, the text message that came out later this week, when it kind of alluded to him actually doing some of the things that she said, but just not at that point right. in the right. past. Right. Okay. But it's going to be those other statements that's going to have to come out after the trial is over. That's why I tell everybody, you know what? This is a wait and see type of thing. To pay no attention to any stuff back and forth in the media. It's been doing it for a year and a half. Pay absolutely no attention. He, he has a great defense team. They planted stories out there like they were supposed to, to sway people's opinion of him. No different than anyone else. I don't blame him for that. I don't blame his lawyers for that. That's why you have lawyers. That's their jobs mm -hmm. to do that. So now when everything is coming out and it's going to be sensationalized because that's the way our system works. We just right. went through this with Meg and Tory. No difference. It, all this stuff is going to be sensationalized as it comes out. So to me, you just wait till the trial is over. Guilty or innocent, not going to be important to me. It's going to be way more important when everything in the transcripts are released and those other statements become public knowledge. I think that can change people's perception of Jonathan. But as I said, getting the funny part of it, the moment I read that he told this uh, blonde haired, blue eyed white woman to act. Like Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King. It was the funniest thing in the world. Then you had yeah. to put it like, well, you know, if I'm cheating on my woman, of course I'm going to want her to act like Coretta Scott King. Turn the blind eye to the things that I do. Like, of course I'm going to need you to act like Michelle Obama if, you know, I want a powerful woman who understands how to support a powerful man. Those are great characteristics. You just couldn't do this in reverse. Like you can tell a white, uh, a black woman, you know, I want you to act like a uh, uh, Margaret Thatcher or any great white woman. You can tell a black woman that because you've lost your ever loving mind. Right. But here, you know, snap, I mean, <laughs> you, I mean, it, that's his vanilla queen, and yeah. he wants her to act like a black queen. Cool. It's just crazy to hear someone who dresses like they're from the civil rights era to actually say this to a woman. A white woman that I don't need you to act like these black women. I think that was the comedic part of it all. Yeah, man. But let's yeah, yeah. Well, well said, sir. Well said. But yeah, let's get into this, man. This is from a business insider, Marvel's Jonathan Majors told the ex he's accused of abusing that she needed to act like Michelle Obama and sacrifice for uh sacrifice for him, the prosecutor says. And first two paragraphs of this, they're just really uh throwing this man in the mud. Marvel Jonathan Majors actor it, it was so controlling towards his ex-girlfriend, he told her. She needed to make sacrifices for him, like Greta Scott King and Michelle Obama um, did for their husbands. Prosecutors told the jury at an opening of his domestic violence case, and yeah, that that did that just seems super uh, duper bonkers. Uh, Perez is part of the prosecution, along with those plans for the future. Perez said were flashes of insecurity and anger from Majors. Uh, he began to snap at Grace Jabari and became manipulative. The prosecutor said. He even threatened suicide to control her. Uh, now, if that's the case, that's very unfortunate. Um, he may have mental health issues. Um, you know, she may have it as well, because in all of this, this trial, it's, it, it looks like they both 
threaten suicide with each other. Mm -hmm. And so super duper toxic relationship. Uh, that's not a laughing matter at all. Um, you know, you really got people out here that's suffering in silence, man. You know, you got to be nice to people, man. You never know what people are going through. Um, you know, I'm not trying to play Captain Save them, but that's just not good. And hopefully, you know, Jabari and Majors can get help, professional help, if that is the case, you know. Um, but yeah, he he threatened to, apparently threatened to, oh, I clicked the wrong button, sorry. Uh, he even threatened to, uh, threatened suicide to control her. In June of 2022, he went on a music festival in the UK with a friend where a cell phone service was spotty, Perez told the jury. He became angry at her and ordered her to return, the prosecutor said. He told her that she needed to be when she needed to be there when he needed her. The prosecutor said that he would shout and throw household items, breaking them during arguments. He got upset when she went to the pub for a drink with a friend. And confronted her, Perez said, pulling her earphones out of her ears and saying, you're stupid if you don't know what you did wrong. He then threatened to end the relationship, throwing her possessions into a bag, or, excuse me, according to the prosecutor. He told Grace Jabari that she needs to live up to the standards of Scaretta Scott King and Michelle Obama to make sacrifices for him because he told her, I am a great man, Perez said. He told her that she needs to uh, comport herself in the way he needed her to be. And I got to say, uh, Lucas, you made a, a, a damn good point there in uh, your opening argument. But context matters. And the reason why I say mm -hmm. that I was talking about Danny does law um, and she has so many details um, on her Twitter and Facebook page. But uh, I have a image here. Let me pull it up here. Uh, the highlighted part, context of audio exhibit where Majors is heard referring to Michelle Obama and Scaretta Scott King. He used them as examples of how a great woman supports her great man, not as a requirement that she be them. Because, you know, that did sound nuts. He was lamenting about her behavior and respects drinking and hanging out, reflecting poorly on his overall image as his girlfriend. No cursing was heard, no threats, no rage. So, I mean, you kind of already said it yourself. Um, hold yeah. on, down. hold on one second. That was my uh, power box. Uh, but you, you kind of already said it yourself, man. But, you know, when context is provided here um like yeah, what does that mean to you man and um and this also shows tells me that you know we just can't jump to conclusions context matters but how, how you feeling about that i mean at this point if if you followed enough court cases you got to understand currently this is the prosecution talking they're going to paint him as the worst person in the world yeah. that's their job right the defense is going to get up paint her as the worst person in the world that's their job. As an as an audience, unfortunately, you're stuck in the sense where your emotions swing by what side you believe the most. Get all of that. <laughs> Let everything play out. This is not something where you're going to be able to formulate an opinion either way. Again, we've seen this with other trials happen. And we saw people's emotions swing from one side to the next. And it always happens that way. For me, personally, um, I partially studied law. Uh, really? as a political science major. This is something that I'm accustomed to hearing. So from the onset of this trial, I thought, okay, like it's the, the I think his uh, opening statement from the defense team was that she threatened suicide. And then the prosecution came back and said, he threatened suicide. It's, if, if we learned anything from Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and their trial, these are the swings you should expect back and forth. No difference here. Yeah. I think we just have to wait, be patient, let justice run its course. And mm -hmm. then afterwards, once you get the transcripts, once you can read for yourself over everything, because that's when you get the context. I can't yeah. get the context from anyone else speaking, because unfortunately, I don't care how unbiased you may think you are. Your own opinion of anything will seep through it. It always happens. We're people. That's natural. You can't give an unbiased take because you're unless you just don't care about no one involved in it, your take cannot be unbiased. If you care a little bit about one person, you're no longer unbiased. So to me, wait till it's all over, read the transcripts, and then find out what happened. I never thought 
when he said, when, or when the, I read in Hollywood Reporter, when it came out that I want you to be more like these two great women. I never thought it was a requirement. I literally thought he was giving her examples of, these are great women. I need you to act this way. Yeah. Not like you better be them. No, <laughs> I, I, right. like that's ridiculous. Right. I never assumed that. So to me, people who did assume that, you already want him to be guilty anyway. That's why yeah. you assume it. You're looking for something to latch on to to prove that this woman is right. For anyone who believed any story before the trial, from everything that was put out about her, it's because you needed her to be guilty. Fine, but just, just wait. Let, let everything run its course. Let the trial come out, then formulate your opinion after the fact. To me, these are two people who I don't care about. Not right now. I am more interested in letting the law run its course, letting this trial run its course. And afterwards, I can read over everything. I can find out the truth of the matter. You're still not going to be able to piece a lot of this stuff together because in the end, it is he said, she said. Like, that's that's all you have. And then, again, when these other statements come out from these other people, it will be the same thing. But people like piling on and then you'll believe it because I got six or seven people who says this about him. That don't mean there could be six or seven people who absolutely hate him, who formulate these stories about him. Right, right. Same thing with her. That's why so I don't believe it anyway. I just prefer to read things. And from that, I can base my opinion off of it. But trying to pay attention to this trial as it goes on, I think it, it's just too much. It's going to swing you too many different ways. So be, okay. be, don't stress yourself out right now, man. I don't think I don't think it's worth it right now. I, 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 that that's fair. I I I can do nothing but respect it. I'm gonna still keep going though. I I, I am. Um, and you said something. Uh, you know, there are some people that like want him to be guilty or her. Uh, as far as him being people wanting him to be guilty, of course, I I, I expect that from the white supremacists. Uh, but when we started this story, it's just disappointing. Is this like I don't understand why people that look like us feel that way especially mm. when you claim to be conscious and aware of the system that we live in i, I that's just really disappointing to me um and um it, it's just really you upsetting. Want to honest why it's a reason i i, I didn't want to go there i think i know i because I, I don't yeah, want to it's yeah, a reason why and it's, it's sad it's yeah, all it for us it's sad yeah. that it, should it, never it, be a it, reason it, to wish to me i wouldn't care if he didn't look like me I'm going to give anybody the benefit of the doubt in this matter. That, like, that's what You're that's the man. difference I think between me. I want to give anybody the benefit of the doubt of this matter. I would, if he was white and she was black, I still would want it to play out in court for us to look over everything and then come up with, okay, so this is a bit clear picture of what happened. I'm not looking at anything else here. He's a well, great actor. I like him as an actor, but I'm not going to bias my opinion based off of that. I don't know this woman from a a hole in the wall, but that means absolutely nothing to me. I, I wish everybody was as mature as yourself and, and your thought process. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. You know. But let me let me play this uh let me play this video real quick from uh Danny Does Law. Um, you know, I, I had it prepared. The volume may be pretty low, but y'all hit a one in the chat if you can hear this. And it may be biased, but I still want to play it. So stop the car. That's when they show us the Hold video. On. Let me start that over. All we saw was the unadulterated version of the surveillance video, but they were allowed to keep the mask. She grabbed the phone with two hands. This is important. Okay. Turned her back to him facing her door and was basically strong arming the phone, Kung Fu grip style. And he was trying to pry it from her hand. Those were her words. He was trying to pry the phone from my hand. He was not successful hit his arms and shoulders. These were her words, so I have them in quotes. Um, she grabbed the phone with both hands and turned to the right. That's what I told you, she grabbed the phone. Um, she said he kept trying to get the phone. So when he said, stop the car, that's when they show us the video of the Escalade in the middle of the street. You see him get out. Remember that 18 inch gap between the two seats. So she clearly went from her seat across the gap into his seat. And was as soon as he opened that car door, you see her in the in the doorway of the car. Her exact words. Let me give you her exact words. Thank you for the exact words. Happened. He was trying to get me off of him. 
trying to get me not to follow him. But in the same breath, tries to say that he was pushing her. Well, he, she didn't say that. That's what the prosecution is trying to say, that he was pushing her in a car, threw her like a football. She never once said that. She said he was trying to get me Because you can lie in the opening statements. You can say whatever you want to say. You can say whatever you want, but she completely, I don't know if she was there for the opening statements because they weren't on the same page with that. He was trying to get me off of him, trying to get me not to follow him. So after she said that, well, she might have said it after the video, but regardless, the video told everything, and it confirmed those exact words. Because when he opened the door and got out, she was right there at the door. You see him turn around. It looked like he lifted her up. Not like, you know how, she's tiny. So it looked like he just kind of like took her by her forearms just to kind of sit her back in her seat. He didn't push her head down. He didn't shove her. Did throw her like a like, football? No, he didn't throw her like a football. It was like he was trying to restrain her. So he like kind of took her shoulders with his two hands and sat her back down in the seat. That was the first time he tried to get her to stay in the car. Then she jumped back up again. Okay. Then he, you, you see him kind of trying to push her back down into the seat. Not shoving her, not pushing her head down. He's kind of like, just kind of like back off, like that kind of thing. She pops back up again. He does it again. She pops back up again, and then he just hauls ass. He runs because he can't keep he can't keep her in the car at this point. And I must note too, they did show three different perspectives of that same him trying to get her in the car. So it was from a distance, then a little closer, and then even closer up. So mm. we knew for a fact he was not pushing her down, throwing her, none of that, because they kept zooming in at different angles so we could see exactly how he was trying to keep her in the car. When, like I said, when he wasn't successful, he jetted off full speed, full stride. She ran behind him. Next frame shows him running at a different angle down the street. Then the next frame, you see them running through a parking lot. The Open next up. frame, you see them running. It was, It's like different scenes of where they ran. And then in between that, the prosecution created like these maps that kind of had little dots following their path on the map. So they were turning corners. They were, it was crazy. I'm like, this is not helping your case. You're making her look insane. She ran after him for about five blocks. <laughs> so there you go. Um, that's Danny. She was in the room. She, she saw the surveillance video and all of that. She's describing what she saw. Uh, sorry it was so low. I Before the show started, I tried to make the volume louder, but I couldn't. Uh, I wish we can see that, but I remember in earlier in the weeks and months of this year, you know, it was just so much speculation that he's, you know, being forceful with her in the car and doing this and doing that, but she described it as you just heard. And so that's just a different perspective and another reason why, again, we cannot come to any conclusions, okay? Yep. And so there you go, um, right there. Um, like I showed her earlier, she's going to apparently be talking about this later on tonight in her live, and I'm I'm going to tune in and see what's going on. But before we head out of here, that's what happened in March of this year. And as Lucas uh, stated earlier, some text messages came out from September of 2022 um, that's making him it, – it does look bad, but let's go ahead and get into that as well uh business insider explosive text reveals jonathan majors urged his girlfriend not to get help for injuries because it would risk an investigation now of course when we get into that that just sounds horrible uh but let's look at this right here uh actor jonathan majors urged his then girlfriend not to get medical help for an injury because it could lead to an investigation explosive text read uh, read aloud at the criminal domestic violence trial reveal. Um, Majors, now 34, encouraged Jabari not to go to the doctor for an injury after some unspecified incident, according to text. I'll try to make this bigger. It's fake, Majors text Jabari, and you have, and you have, I fear, no perspective of what could happen if you go to the hospital. They will ask you questions. And as I don't think you can actually protect us, it could lead to an investigation. Even if you do lie, they suspect something. Jabbar, who had been the witness stand for four days, takes back that she would cover for majors. 
I will tell the doctor that I bumped my head, according to a text message read to the jury. If I go, I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need stronger painkillers. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? Um, I'm trying to make it bigger and I lost my, my thought. When I want to be with you. Um, so it's, it's unclear when the injury happened. Jabari previously testified on September of uh, this year. Majors confronted her because she had gone for drinks with a friend and then returned home for dinner. Uh, let me see if there's any more quotes. Um, I no. think that should be it for the text message thread. Yeah. That was um, from, who did I get? That? I first saw it in, again, Hollywood Report, I think, or uh, Variety. Variety. Let me, and let, let me say something real quick. Um, this is something else that she said. The people also tried insinuating early DV in September 2022. That's the date from the text message we just read by heavily redacted text. So context of the messages is totally skewed. Now, context matters, but that does sound bad. I can't admit it. And again, if he's guilty, think, he's guilty. You know, I will own up to it. I have some more commentary, yeah. but uh, Lucas, go ahead, man. It's the same thing. In the end, wait till the transcripts are released. I don't think people understand that part of it. You're not going to get any perspective until the full transcript is released and all the evidence is released also. I pay attention to a case up until the point of when I think the transcript is the only way you're going to get the truth out of any one story. Because you, you you got a multitude of people reporting on this. And again, everyone's going to put their slant on it. I don't care about people's slant because I'm not invested enough to. Again, I just prefer to read the transcript and let me know exactly what took place. I think that people want to frame him as the worst person in the world. And they'll use that text message thread to do so. Dude, he could have been talking about a dog hitting her. How the hell would you know? Right. You would have the slightest idea what he's talking about. But again, that's the prosecution's job is to frame a story that way. Granted, it looks horrible. Guess what? Yeah. That's what they're supposed to do. Right. That is the goal of it. But this is partially why the defense fought for this trial not to be public. Because the prosecution wanted it public. They wanted it. So they wanted reporters in this courtroom every day. So you can get bit by bit of this evidence as it dropped. His team fought for that not to happen. Because they said, nope, if this stuff gets out, it ain't going to be good. Because I think they understand the way slants work. If you in any form of law, you understand the way slants work. And I can't get a fair trial if I'm constantly worrying about everybody reporting this day in and day out. It's going to hurt me and that's unnecessary give it time so this is why i don't personally i follow it to an extent of people telling me hey this is what this is what happened in court today that's all i care about okay once you get to the statements once you get to these text messages are read though this diagram was shown and things of this nature the first thing i think of is hmm i'll be i'll pay way more attention to this when i can see it myself like that's that's my biggest thing i'll pay way more attention when i can see it myself but, but unfortunately this is a closed trial. Here's the weird part, though, people. In the end, it's not even that big of a case. I'm highly confused why it went to trial. This is a misdemeanor at best. I think if 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 he's found you guilty of lie. everything, right. yeah. it's a year. But let's be realistic. No one gets a year for that. I think it's only in a trial because of who he is. That's exactly. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. He, but that's normally cool. for people of his stature, that's why they settle. Like, you just settle and get this over with. Like, nah, we're not, I'm not going back and forth. But in here, no, what he I mean by settle is that, you that, settle that, with that, the that's kind of, that would look horrible, but it's kind of a mean way. It, it all depends. Because at that point, you're settling with the prosecution. You're saying it's not worth my time to have to go through this trial. Like, in all honesty, for Jonathan, it's hurting him so much more to have to sit through this stupidity than anything else. This is what's hurting him. I would, he, he, him, he, I would rather him. I would rather him do that for the settle. Am I? That's just me, though. But no, you could get a settlement in a sense of is a settlement without admitting guilt. Okay. That's it. That's all we ask for: a settlement without admitting guilt. Because for him, again, the fear isn't her. The fear isn't what she has to say. The fear is all the rest of the stories that come out after this. All those other statements that come out after this. I think that's his biggest issue. So, again, when his defense team said, we're fighting to keep this other stuff sealed unless it's admissible, 
during this trial, what they're saying is those other statements are something we do not want to be out to the public at all. The point that uh, the media went and literally attempted to file a lawsuit to get this stuff released because they're so hungry for that information. But in turn, if I'm him, I'm like, you know what? In the end, if we could settle where I don't have to admit fault of anything and we can move on and I'll pay whatever little fine that you're probably going to give me in the end anyway, I'll pay that. Not going to admit that I'm guilty to anything, but I just want this to be over with. But when you drag awesome. it out, you 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 drag it out this way. Th this is when it 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 does irreparable harm to you, even if you're innocent, because all the rest of the stories come out then, and then you're like, "Damn it, I can't defend myself against everything." Because once it's two or three people, no matter what you say, those two or three people are telling the truth. It, it doesn't matter, yeah. it, unfortunately, because that's the way the public works. All right. All it, right, it's stupid, but that's the way the public works. Enough people come out against you, they're telling the truth. And it could be all liars, but they're telling the truth. And unfortunately, when the truth does come out, and if you're 100% innocent, it's a little byline that says that you're 100% innocent. Nowhere near the huge byline that said you were guilty. Look at someone like, and I know this is a horrible comparison, but look at someone like Kevin Spacey. He's literally won every trial after all those allegations against him. No one cares. No one. He's That's been true. proven innocent almost every case he's had. No one cares because that tagline at the beginning was so big, it took all the attention away from him. And I, and I pray that doesn't happen because this man is, I don't care what any, you don't have to like Jonathan Majors. Who cares? He's a, he's a black man. He's extremely talented. The only bias I have is I'm rooting for everybody black. That's my bias. And I'll tell anybody that every day, all day. And I, I believe he's a great actor. Not a good one. I agree. Not kind of good. Great. I thought he was a lock for best actor for Magazine Dreams when I saw it at Sundance this year. And I was hyped when they gave it at a release date later on this season and later on this year. And then all of this hit. And right. I said, they are going to try to strip this man bare bones. And that's what I'm seeing here. And I'm I'm terrified of what was going to happen after the trial. Because I think he's going to, this case is, you can't find fault, unfortunately. From, from what I know about the law, just hearing slightest bit of evidence before this trial started, I said, oh, you're not going to be able to prove anything here. So what's the purpose of it? It's going to be to get the rest of those stories out. Yeah, man, uh, I wish uh, I, I need to take a, your advice page out of your book. Um, you're like, don't get stressed out, B, you know, because um, I, it, it's just like I'm annoyed it, just with people in my personal life that's tagging me because it's so one sided and they'll, they'll try to present an argument and then I'll shut it down with more information. But then they're quiet and then I won't, you know, and it, 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 so wait a minute, where was you at? You was talking all this noise, but then I come with this and, you know, no. So I'm a. I'm not going to go off, but I'm going to say, like, you know, I'm bound out. I don't want to have this conversation anymore. Yeah. If you want to be all in my ear. But when I present something else, you know, you, you're you're Casper, you're a ghost. Um, you something go. you said earlier about, um, you know, clearly she's she was hurt in September of 2022. And we don't know what happened. But you said something like, you know, it could have been a dog. It could have been anything. We don't know. <laughs> um, what I'm trying to make is that we can't come to the conclusions. Have you seen uh, Spike Lee's movie? He got game course okay what did denzel washington get locked up for you know he was trying to reprimand his child yeah and the one the, the the wife was like get off my baby get off my baby and he accidentally shoved her and then she hit her head on the stove and and passed away unfortunately now i'm not saying that in that movie that uh he shouldn't have gone to jail for manslaughter but it was an accident if somebody was not in the room and saw exactly what happened it appears that he abused her or that you know he was an abuser or something. You may not like that example, uh, but I'm I'm a down that hill. Uh, but that no, that's a good example is, of again when two people are in the room with each other, you don't know what happened. You know, yeah, she it was. You know, in that yeah, in that case, she died. But if she was injured, you don't know what happened. I'm gonna tell you a quick story about me and um, 13 years ago, 2010. I, uh, let me just preface this by saying I have never been in any type of domestic violence incident. I've never put my hands on a woman. A uh, woman has never put their hand. Well, actually, when I was 18, um, I made a joke that a woman didn't like it. She tried to kick me um, outside of a library at college. But other than that, I've never there's never been any physical altercations. Mm -hmm. But in 2010, woman I was dating, 
um, I was at her apartment and um, I had enough sense to do what I did, what I'm going to tell you, but our relationship was pretty much coming to an end. We were arguing more than we were getting along. For weeks, I was just saying, hey, let's just be cool. And she was like, no. She actually said, please don't give up on me. One day we was getting into it, going back and forth. I was like, well, hey, I'm, I'm out. I'm going to leave. And so my keys were on the countertop in the kitchen. I try to go mm -hmm. grab my keys. She runs over there and grabs my keys so I can't leave, goes to the couch, raises up the couch cushion, and puts my keys under the couch cushion and sits on the couch. You ain't going nowhere. Now, of course, I am strong enough to go over there and remove her off the couch cushion to get my keys and leave. But if I, I, I had enough sense to say, I was like, okay, I could do this, but what if something happens and while we're, we're tussling, trying to get my keys, she hits her knees, she hits her elbow, her shoulder, her head, she starts bleeding. How is that going to look to the outside? It's going to look like I beat her ass. And of course, that did not happen. We kind of just lightly gagged and sat there for about another hour and a half until she got up and went to the restroom. And then that's when I got my keys and left. Keys and got out of there. But yeah. I was just saying to myself, how could this look on the outside, you know, if I'm just trying to get my keys and leave the situation, it's going to look like I put my mm -hmm. hands on her. My point is, is that we don't know what happened as far as Jabari getting those injuries in September of 2022. Anything could have happened. He could have been yelling. He could have hit her. He could have not. She could have been screaming and throwing stuff and you know, she, like, woman, leave me alone and pushed her on accident and she hurt herself. It, it could have been a number of things. My point is we cannot come to any conclusions and stop tagging me and stuff when you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I, I just had to get <laughs> off that. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, it's nothing wrong with that, man. I, I, I understand. Yeah, so it's, it's I don't like the one-sidedness. Um, I don't like people coming to certain conclusions. I don't like people wanting this man to be guilty. Just wait like you said and, and presented your argument just wait. so, so just, yeah. just, just wait and we'll see so that's all i got to say you got any more uh you got any final comments on this uh, uh, nothing mine's just simple i i preach that to my friends the same way i have people who like man i really I'm, they following the trial that they know people who are either in the courtroom or they know how to get the information and i'm like well is it that important for you to follow without you being able to see the information yourself I'm like no I don't care. Let's just wait till everything plays its, runs its course with these two. And after yeah. the trial is over, you'll get the transcript of everything. And it reminds me of the Tory and Meg trial where everyone talked back and forth about it for months. And then magically when the transcript is released and they noticed that the reporting on it was so biased. It's, oh my God, none of this was in the transcript. Like, yes, that's the official document. Read that and then you can formulate your opinion on it. Again, I just don't care. Right, you, you can I, give. I, just, I wish the best. I'm, I'm, I'm the. I wish the best for all parties involved. I wish at this point both of them could move on from each other, because at for at one form this was a toxic relationship on both ends. Right. I just want both of them to move on in peace from each other. That's I agree. It. I agree. That's it. Before, before we head out of here, man, you can give a quick five minutes response to this. But Dane C, thank you so much for the two dollar super chat. Uh, Ooh, this this settling help P Diddy Lucas. I'm gonna say no. I know. Yeah. No. I know moment. a lot. I know a lot more about that than I need to, and that I wish I did. And the the reason settlement did not work for him is because one, people already formulated their opinion about him. Settlement didn't matter because yeah. you can say the settlement didn't work for him. Someone else could say she released a statement saying that she was standing up for all women and settled with twenty four hours, and have you have not heard a peep from her since. You, none of that is a coincidence on either end for them to some of this stuff was true i know for a fact some of what she said was true i also know some of this what she said in that in that filing was not true but who cares they had already formulated their opinion about him and if you notice and this is the fear with jonathan after he settled that everyone else came out that's the that's the issue is what what happens after your initial filing, your initial case. And that's the fear part with Jonathan is that you're going to get all these other people trying to come out and badmouth this man after this. Even if it's true, they're still badmouthing him because they see the windows opened up. It's different a little bit with Diddy because that was a civil trial. This is a criminal trial. Those are two completely different type of filings. You can file anything civil if you think you can 
formulate a case and hope that that person settles with you. I yeah. mean, in all honesty, to me, that's what Cassie did. Like, Diddy had no business allowing it to go that far. He should have settled, or as his lawyer said, when she came out and they, she wanted to do a book deal and it was a, a supposed shakedown for a book deal, he should have settled then. It wasn't worth, like, saying no. And the amount of money she asked for was nothing for him. Absolutely nothing for him. But that's the point of going to trial. That's the point of going to a civil court. You ask for enough money that is life-changing for you, but does not hurt the person that you're asking for it for. So yeah, that theirs is a completely different issue. Diddy is insane. Like, we know this already. And again, a lot of that was facts of what she said. The other stuff that I know were not facts about what she said, but it didn't matter either way. Because who cared? It's Diddy. No one likes him anyway. My Jonathan man. doesn't have that issue. People love People love John. You should love Jonathan Majors. He does nothing wrong. Yeah. Like, I think somebody got mad because I joked on his clothes, but you no, know, he was known as Civil Rights Bay. Like, he's a, he's like the perfect black man from a lost era, Joe. Like, he, he before this, we've not heard anything about Jonathan. He stayed out his way with his little red cap on, and he was just the definition of a cool black guy. Cool black sure. man. That's it. But yeah, guys. Um that's it man that's all we have today and so i appreciate y'all tuning in um if you are interested in reading these entire articles of course there's a link to this in the description box below and uh, for you to read at your own leisure and shortly after we end the broadcast i will be adding timestamps to everything that we discussed today but when it comes to jonathan majors guys let's just wait man we don't know so let's not jump to any mm -hmm. conclusions okay but guys, that is all that we have for today for Movie News Roundup show number 111.